Good morning, I am Tracy Spence with your newscast. This newscast is brought to you courtesy of BioLife Energy Systems. Come join the living. Call them at 800 875 USA Credit Repair, the key to beautiful credit. You may call them at 800 786 Cruising with the case handler, a show on personal injury and immigration on weekdays 9.30 a.m. on Saturdays 7 p.m. and 12 noon on Sundays. And the Supreme Power Homes. Call them at 800 493 Now for the news in details. Jamaica's Micro Small and Medium Sized Enterprise Alliance has joined the call for an increase in the $50 duty free limit for online shopping. President Donovan Wignall agrees that it should move to $100 as more people have turned to the internet for shopping and importing personal items due to the coronavirus pandemic. Mr. Wignall said the move by Jamaica Customs would facilitate more people, although it would be foregoing revenue. Mr. Wignall also wants Jamaica Customs to address concerns about its consolidation of shipments on the $50 each and charging a duty. He said the cost of shipments could be predictable and not left to the discretion of the Customs Department. But if the duty-free limit for shipment is increased to U.S. $100, Mr. Wignall believes it should remain at that point even after the pandemic. Latin America and the Caribbean on Tuesday became the second region after Europe to top half a million deaths from COVID-19, according to an AFP count based on official tallies. There have been at least 500,800 deaths among the 29 countries in the region, with more than half of those in Brazil and Mexico. The milestone came 12 days after Europe passed the half a million mark. It takes the total worldwide deaths to more than 1.78 million, with the United States and Canada accounting for over 350,000 and Asia topping 217,000. Almost 82 people, million people worldwide have contracted the virus, including more than 15 million in Latin America, at the third largest after Europe, 26 million, and the U.S. and Canada, 20 million. Meanwhile, the United Nations Environment Programme, UNEP, has warned that the Caribbean, among other places, could lose its coral reefs by the end of the century unless there are drastic reductions in greenhouse gas emissions. UNEP said coral reefs are incredibly important and sustain a wide variety of marine life. They also protect coastlines from erosion, from waves and storms, sink carbon and nitrogen, and help recycle nutrients. This phenomenon is called coral bleaching, and although bleached corals are still alive, they can recover their algae if conditions improve. It said the last global bleaching event started in 2014 and extended well into 2017. UNEP said it spread across the Pacific, Indian, and Atlantic Oceans and was the longest, most pervasive and destructive coral bleaching incident ever recorded. In its report, Projections of Future Coral Bleaching Conditions, UNEP outlines the link between coral bleaching and climate change. On the fossil fuel heavy scenario, the report estimates that every one of the world's reef will bleach by the end of the century, with annual severe bleaching occurring on average by 2034, nine years ahead of predictions published three years ago. In sports, members of Cricket West Indies CWI Medical Advisory Committee, Dr. Ashkai Mansing, says he sees no problems with the Caribbean hosting international cricket in 2021. Since the COVID-19 pandemic brought sports to a standstill in the Caribbean in March, the West Indies have been forced to cancel home series against South Africa and New Zealand. The Caribbean Premier League has been the only regional championship cricket competition hosted since then. But CWI is looking to kickstart for cricket in the region starting in February with the regional Super 50 tournament. Sri Lanka is also set to visit the region for a series and Mansing says setting up biosecure bubbles like those in England and New Zealand is possible in the region. And that is it for the news. This newscast came to you courtesy of BioLife Energy Systems. Come join the live-in. Call them at 800-875-5433. USA Credit Repair, the key to beautiful credit. You may call them at 800-786-1330. Cruising with the Case Handler, a show on personal injury and immigration on weekdays 9.30 a.m. on Saturdays 7 p.m. and 12 noon on Sundays. And the Supreme Power Homes, call them at 800-493-9002. On behalf of the news and production team, I am Tracy Spence. Do have yourselves a good morning.